Hey it's Nadine and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I will be teaching you how I make these thumbnails. I do get requests sometimes on how I make my thumbnails, so I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity for me to teach you. Well, it's not a super tutorial, more of like, let's make these thumbnails with me. So I hope that this will be helpful for some of you and that you can learn something out of it. And just a side note, I guess my thumbnail style, I think it's pretty kitschy, very high and drawn, a lot of doodles. Um, a good friend of mine told me that my thumbnails kind of look like they're scrapbooky, which I'm not opposed to, I can totally see that. And I I'm into it. I don't know how to make the super like clean and uniform thumbnails that some creators have, which I super appreciate and I think it just looks so good together, but I just don't know how to make them. So. You know, I'm gonna just teach you or show you how I personally do mine. I also think that this is applicable for your PowerPoint presentations for school, if ever you want to be extra. So yes, I hope you guys are excited and let's get started. So honestly, if you've seen my how I do hand-drawn doodles and titles in my videos, like how I edit, the process is very similar. Exactly the same, I guess, but in photo form. But since this video is requested, I'm still doing this one, but it's kind of the same thing. I use the same thing, so yeah. Things that you will need. The first thing, of course, is the photo. It can be a screenshot from the video or a photo you took or photos you take if you want it to be a collage. And then the next thing is Photoshop or any photo editing software where you can make the collage. So it can literally be an app on your phone or GIMP is a free software and that's where I used to edit things on before I got Photoshop. And then lastly, for doodles and text, I use this app called Sketchbook and I use it with my sister's iPad and Apple Pen. But if you don't have those, you don't need it, you can do it on your phone with your finger and just figure things out and be extra patient with it. That's all we need. So let's get started with the first thumbnail. This is the first thumbnail we are working on. It's from the body acceptance video I did with Jill. Opening up sketchbook, I'm airdropping the picture we will be using. And we're starting off with the text. Signature ink is one of my favorite brushes and I just change up the size and the color just playing around with it. Very important, in the top portion, I click on the predictive stroke, which smoothens any brush stroke I make. This makes the text and any doodle way more smoother than if I have it off. It's kind of hard to read the text right now, so I'm essentially creating a darker outline on the text that I just wrote. I changed the brush to paintbrush, which is a lot more thick. On a separate layer, writing under what I've just written. I hope you understood what I just said. I feel like it was all just ramble. I also like doodling outlines of myself on my thumbnails. I think it adds a very cute touch. And I'm a big fan of star doodles, so I like to draw that on. Just adding the text, a chat in the bottom, and creating another outline for it. And ta-da, we are done. This is a super simple thumbnail and I really like how it turned out. Moving on to the next thumbnail we are working on, the Zambales one. This is a collage type, so this one took a bit longer for me to make. I'm using Photoshop for this, opening up a 1 to 80 by 720 blank canvas. I'm picking and importing photos that I want to be in the thumbnail. Cute group pictures and solo pictures. Really cute. <laughs> now I'm trying to lay out and figure out where I want each photo to be placed. This takes time and a lot of trial and error, resizing things, hiding things, switching things around. So just be patient and I'm sure you'll get to a layout that pleases you. So for this group pick, I have decided to cut it out using the polygonal lasso tool as well as this solo pic. This totally adds to the scrapbooky feel of my thumbnails for sure. 
Now I just play around with layouting. And I think this is what I'm happy and satisfied with. There are still some empty spaces where I can put text and certain doodles on. Now, with Autodesk Sketchbook, I'm writing Zambales 2019. I'm outlining the text once again for easier readability. For the final doodly touches, since I think there's already a lot going on because it is a collage, I'm just adding some squiggles around the side. And this is the final outcome of my thumbnail. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned something because that is literally why I make videos to help at least one of you. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any other requests for how I edit things or how I make things, let me know down below and I will see you guys soon. This video was from my heart to yours. Bye. Don't forget to um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter.